Okay guys, I am super excited to bring this to you guys. I finally received my Keurig machine and this is one of the 2.0 series and it is a 550, K550, so it is one of the newest ones. And I have to thank you so, so much. Um, a lot of my subscribers have reached out to me because I was planning on bringing my K-Caps back to the Dollar Tree because the new 2.0 systems do not accept any of the K-Cups unless they actually have the logo of Keurig on the box. Although the box says could be used in the Keurig Bruin system, it's it has to have the logo because there's a certain read that the K-Cups give for these new systems. And I guess that was Keurig's new way of trying to get you to stick with their brand. Um, so I, a lot of you have reached out to me and told me that there is a hack to make that work in this system. And at first I was a little hesitant because I'm like, well, I don't want to mess with any kind of technical things because if something goes wrong and I have to send it to them to fix or whatever, they're going to be like something been messed up in here. But what I did, because I trust you ladies' opinions, is I went ahead and did some research on it. And I, the first video that I seen, I tried and it worked a charm and it's not messing with your system. It's not no technical thing. It's nothing like that. It's simple, easy. And I am so grateful to you guys for showing that to me because it will save me abundance of money because them K cups from the Dollar Tree actually taste really gr like really good. So I'm going to show you exactly how this system works with the hack that I learned specifically because you ladies reaching out to me. Okay, so here's the system here and I'm going to place one of the K cups in there that we get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you how it does not work unless I use this hack. So I'm going to place that in there, push it down, push the lid down. And as you see, there's a read on the screen that says, oops. And it tells you this pack does not, is not designed for this brewer. Please try one of our hundreds of packs with Keurig logo, with a Keurig logo, or it gives you a phone number to call if you need any, have any questions. So what I'm gonna do is the hack I was shown. And what I did was I took one of the Keurig, the original Keurig cups, which I used, I didn't waste it. I did use that and I cut the lid off of it. And when you cut the lid off of it, you just place that right on top and it does not have to be aligned perfectly. See how unperfect that is? And you place it right on top, close it, and look at this. Oh, wait, I did. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, fail. <laughs> okay, so you got to place it right on top and it's ready to serve. So I'm going to push ready and it's going to start brewing for me. Um, and that is amazing. Like literally all I had to do, and I could use that cap over and over again, or anytime I actually use one of my original K cups. I can just um, save the tops to them. I have them stored and housed inside of my thing here and I have everything from coffee to tea to chocolate milk. These are um, uh, cold teas, um, <clears throat> everything from Starbucks to Donut House. I mean all the name brand stuff. They all came in the kit that I ordered and I cannot believe how simple <laughs> that hack was. I do not get what Keurig did and like I said that is not even set on there see it says enjoy so it is finished and that is not even set on there perfectly aligned so obviously there's some kind of reader they say a code so that's what's stopping it from being able to work so something just that simple it's not going to mess up your machine because there's no technical like decoding or um nothing like electrical or nothing that you're changing. You're just simply placing the cap to the original K cups on top. So that was absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go back to the Dollar Tree. Now I'm glad I did not take them seven boxes back. I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to get me some more of them K cups and they actually taste really good. And I didn't even have to add sugar in them. All I did was put the froth, the froth pack in there and it tastes like vanilla, French vanilla, it, it says vanilla latte and it really does taste like that is delicious you can also put ice cubes in there or crush up ice and make it cold if you want to 
So that was amazing. And this is what the outcome is. I have a whole pack here, um, a whole glass cup here. And this is just my little Easter bunny cup. Um, I was going to wait till Easter to pull that out, but I decided just to go ahead and pull it out now. So I want to thank each and every one of you who reached out to me and told me that there was a hack and to look up um, on YouTube. This is exactly why us YouTube ladies and gentlemen need each other because we all come up with new information that allows each other to be able to find easier, better and cheaper ways to achieve the things in, um, that we want, you know, so again, I cannot thank you guys enough because I definitely was not only going to take those back. I was never going to buy another cheap box again. I would have just stuck with the expensive ones and that would have been that. So you guys saved me a lot of money, a lot of time and definitely very appreciative. So thanks once again. Um, that's how that works. Just cut off your lid, place it on top. Um, if you're having difficulties with placing, um, you don't, <clears throat> because it slides because of the angle it's in. So what I did was, you can tape it if you want, but what I did was I left a little edge on there from the actual um, container when I cut it. I didn't just cut the plastic, I mean the paper off. I cut, and see how like warped this is from the holes going in and out and it got tore and it still works. But anywho, um, I left a little lip on the sides of it so that way I could just hook it on there like this and it stays, okay? So that's how I get mine to stay. But I did see some people tape it or whatever. But um, I also seen some other ones with putting a little magnet here. But I didn't even finish watching that video. So I don't know everything detail to it. Um, I just didn't, you know, I felt that was an easier, simpler without causing any damage. I don't know what the magnet can do to it. So that was awesome. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. And I have a video coming up for you guys with an amazing, amazing haul. It is not from the Dollar Tree, but you guys will appreciate the prices on very high brand makeup for very reasonable, cheap prices. Stay tuned. And I love you guys as always. You know what to do. Holla at your girl. Bye-bye.